as we are out here for Team USA and we're wondering what Joel Embiid is going to look like in this environment. One of the names that we did not mention, but he did speak yesterday. We talked about him just briefly because he talked yesterday before he decided that he needed to leave Team USA, and that is Kawhi Leonard. So breaking news, Kawhi Leonard has decided to step away from Team USA. Be before we got here and coming into this situation, there was talk that he might have to step away just because of some health issues, some injury issues, as they wanted to make sure that he was good to go. So he got through the first few days of training camp here with Team USA, but unfortunately for him, he has to step away. So what did Team USA and Grant Hill and company do? They went to Indeed. They checked. Indeed they did. Indeed they did. And they pulled out another Boston Celtics. Well, player. first they went to, to Coors Light because they were upset about the state of the job market. And then they went to Indeed to see, all right, I really got to pull myself up here and figure out who's yes. got the resume. Well, there were a couple of resumes there, one of uh, which is his other teammate that did not get selected. He got the nod here. But Derek White making the team here, accepting the invitation. So he's going to get around this basketball team as soon as possible before they leave for Dubai. Team USA had to call on Indeed to go out there and acquire Derek White. So they did so by calling on Derek White, taking the guesswork out of uh, making sure that they had the right person. So listeners of this show, again, will get a $75 sponsored job credit to get your jobs more visibility at Indeed.com slash all city. That's Indeed.com slash all city terms and conditions apply need to hire you need indeed and i had to tell that to grand hill last night when kyle or yesterday early when kyle and i walked over to get our credentials and we saw grand hill had to tell him hey if you're looking for a replacement and it's not me i have a name in, in mind they didn't take him but they went with uh derek white and um his resume is pretty good coming off of again a situation where he wins a championship his name was in the pool to start this whole process off with Grand Hill and Team USA and deciding on the squad that they wanted to select. A little surprised that they didn't go his other teammate, which was the finals MVP and Jalen Brown. I think Jalen uh, Brown was a little surprised too. We'll get to that in just a second. <laughs> but uh, I guess I guess here they looked at it where they had enough scoring. They wanted a more defensive-minded player to come in and do the dirty work instead of worrying about point production, even though we can look at Jalen Brown as a two-way guy. Maybe the maybe on his resume, guys, right? The left hand and the scouting report. It's not good enough. And these guys over there with the fundamentals with these countries, they're like, oh, that's cake. We can go the other way. You know, he puts the ball left hand. We're going the other way. Uh, they went with Derek White instead. Kyle, what do you make of, of the Derek White uh, replacement for Kawhi Leonard? And uh, how does this impact and affect the team? I mean, first of all, I'm completely shocked that Kawhi Leonard it was not healthy enough to play for a Team USA. Who could have seen that coming, right? Like, I, I love Kawhi. It also is very fitting that the Sixers, of all franchises, the one time he's been healthy in yeah. a half decade is when he went on a nuclear apocalyptic run and single-handedly knocked them out of the playoffs. So, Obviously, big respect to Kawhi and hope that the knee gets better, but just seems like one of those things that it's just about managing it and it's always a problem. Uh, as far as Derek White goes, I mean, I, I I always tend to value having one of these types of guys on the team, and he certainly has shown his worth and his value to the Celtics. Like made a fairly compelling case to make the All-Star team this year yep. and yep. Well, I didn't end up making it played a huge role in, in their success obviously has the familiarity with Tatum and holiday already. So there's built in chemistry. If you, if they, Steve Kerr wants to be a real sicko and go Boston heavy on his lineup, he certainly is capable of throwing a few of them out there. And then you have three fifths of, uh, unfortunately the, the current NBA champions on the floor at one time. So, I'm not shocked that they just went utility route because once you get past the, I think if you can get the biggest name guys, right? Like the, the Durant's, the LeBron's, the Kawhi's, the Embiid's, the Curry's, you've, you certainly care about fit, but you worry about that less. But once you get past that, that first tier and you have enough star power and a guy drops out, it's like, yeah, we don't really need to bring in another, like, offensive hub type of player let's bring in somebody who defends 
who has some you know positional versatility, who can put it on the floor, who's a, been a good shooter as of late. I am perfectly okay with it. I am also perfectly okay with Grant Hill blowing up the Celtics from the inside and pissing off Jalen Brown enough to cause a <laughs> several emoji reaction tweet. So but perfectly fine with Derek White. Would have obviously preferred someone who's related to a member of the podcast to, uh, mm. to get a nod given mm. that they also appeared at a recent FIBA World Cup. But, mm-hmm. you know, he's on the Knicks now, so screw that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to point out, Eugene had a good point in the chat. You are tampering harder to get Mikhail on Team USA than you ever did to get him on a Sixers, and shame on you. You are shame you are absolutely you. right, Eugene. Shame on Devon for not tampering harder. When we talk about Indeed and resume, I'm looking at it like this. Two national championships. So you're criticizing gold, Indeed now. Gold, gold medal. No, I'm talking about that's building Even his resume. Advice. Gold medal. So, yeah. But no. Um, you're, you're right, Kyle, and just they didn't need another offensive guy. They needed a guy who can just do a, a do-it-all player, and that's what they got in Derek White. This is the only time we will root for Boston Celtics players to do anything successfully is on the national stage uh, for the for the country and, and winning a gold medal for Team USA. But good player. I have liked Derek White. I think he fits in this role. He understands he's just going to come in and do his job. They already have one in Drew Holiday. Now they add another in Derek White. So Derek just a, a, another player who can come in with a seamless fit. Yeah, it really is. Like, if you're going to have to try to place, replace Kawhi, obviously there's no Kawhi. There, he's a one of one. But a guy who can, you know, shoot the three and also made back-to-back all defensive teams, a uh, pretty good option to have. Pretty good option to have. We all sitting like the mayor. 